Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Region to View podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to be talking about page three in the reference table, your New York State bedrock map. We're going to use this map in conjunction with page two as well, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Within this map, you have latitude values in the 40s. They measure north of the equator. You have your longitude values in the 70s. They measure west of the prime meridian. You also have cities such as Jamestown, Buffalo, Rochester, Elmira, Ithaca, Binghamton, Syracuse, Oswego, Watertown, Messina, Plattsburgh, Old Forge, Utica, Albany, Kingston, New York City, and Riverhead. Now, you have a little scale at the very bottom that you can actually measure either the miles distance or kilometers distance between each city. You also have water features such as Lake Erie, Niagara Falls and the Niagara River, Lake Ontario, the Genesee River, the Finger Lakes, the Susquehanna River, the Delaware River, the Mohawk River, Lake Champlain, the St. Lawrence River, the Hudson River, the Long Island Sound, and the Atlantic Ocean. You also have a couple major peaks. You have Mount Marcy, which is the tallest peak in the Adirondacks, and you also have Slide Mountain, which is the greatest peak in the Catskills. So that leads us down to the scale down below. And you'll notice that the scale down below okay, is broken up into sedimentary rock with their ages and metamorphic rock and their ages. Those are really the two dominant types of rock that we have here in New York State. Well, let's start out with the symbols down below. Symbols down below, you see the two that are highlighted. These can be very old rock, middle Proterozoic. This is pre-Cambrian rock, mostly metamorphic rock. Well, in order to find that, you match it up and you'll find the majority of it's gonna be up in the Adirondack region and some down here in Southern New York as well. When you take this map and you superimpose the landscape map over top of it, it's very easy for you to figure out the type of rock and what landscape is going to house that type of rock. The next pattern is going to be this taconic sequence. Okay, You do have some sandstone, some shells, and even some slate as well. So you do have some sedimentary and metamorphic rock mixed in. Where's that pattern going to be found? It can be found right there in southern New York as well. And again, it's going to be found in the Hudson Mohawk lowlands and even some of the Taconic Mountains. The next pattern up is kind of this checkerboard pattern. This is Cambrian and Ordovician age rock. Again, mostly is going to be metamorphic rock. Where is that checkerboard pattern going to be found? It's going to be found right here in really in southern Westchester, really in the Manhattan Prong here. A good portion of the Manhattan Prong is going to be that part of New York State. Next pattern up is these horizontal lines of Cambrian and early Ordovician rock. Again, mostly going to be metamorphic rock as well. That pattern is going to be found just in the Kingston region okay, of the Taconic Mountains and Hudson Mohawk lowlands. So you can see that part of New York State has a wide variety of rock types and ages. It's a very, very complex part of New York State. The next section up is a Cambrian type of rock that's predominantly going to be met, uh, sedimentary in nature. That pattern is going to be found good portion of it's going to be found in real northern New York, okay, with the St. Lawrence lowlands, okay, part of the Adirondack Mountains and part of the Hudson Mohawk lowlands. The next pattern up is going to be these slanted lines of Ordovician age rock. These are limestones, shale, sandstones, and dolostones. That pattern is going to be found in these regions here. So you can see that this type of rock this age rock is a wide, wide variety all around New York State. So you can see that there's a number of landscape features that are going to house this type of rock. Next pattern up are going to be the vertical lines, slurring age rock of limestone shales, sandstones, conglomerates again. And that pattern's predominantly going to be found right here in New York State, predominantly in the Erie, Ontario lowlands. Next pattern up are the speckled pattern. This is, again, going to be limestone, shale, sandstones, and conglomerates, sedimentary rock, pretty much found right in this region right here, which is the Allegheny Plateau and even the Catskill Mountains. Next up, you have the 
black pattern of Pennsylvania Mississippian age rock of conglomerate sandstones and shales. Okay, good portion of it's going to be way out just to the southeast of Jamestown in the Allegheny Plateau. Next pattern up, kind of some slanted dashed lines of late Triassic and early Jurassic rock. That rock is going to be found right there in the Newark lowlands. And that's going to be one type of rock that's going to be made up of igneous as well. You do have some diabase and some basalt in there as well. You have a feature called the Palisade Sill that's found in the Newark lowlands. And also the next pattern up is going to be the Cretaceous or the Pleistocene age rock. A lot of gravel, sands, and clays. So you're really not really, really dealing with too much rock there, really dealing with some sediment. Because remember, most of the sediment that was dropped off in New York okay, is going to be found as transported sediment, and a good collection of it's going to be found in Long Island, which is the Atlantic Coastal Plain. So with that being said, hopefully you can see the connection between page 2 and page 3 in your reference table, and we'll talk to you soon.